Greetings friends and welcome to my den for Music Monday. That's right, I do have a new tune for you today. First we're going to take a quick look at a couple of the products we're going to be using. So finally, yes, Big Dude Burbis. That's right, I am finally going to become a big dude. Uh, very excited to have this in the den. Um, as you guys know, uh, the Burbis gentleman, Grachowski, he is uh, on Instagram as well as Barbus. He has a couple accounts. He has been uh, very supportive of a lot of the YouTube content creators. So thank you very much, brother. Very glad to get this in the den. And I must say, it smells great. This is the Sport with the chlorophyll. I'll be linked to it down below uh, for the Razor Company. Really do like the scent of this. It, um, it has citronelle and some citrus in it. So it has kind of a citrusy vibe. And I'm a big fan of citrus. So, yes. Big dude, indeed. Uh, we have that pre-lathered here in my Thirsty Badger. Leather bowl. With the Spiffo Murdoch. With a 26, 24 millimeter Luxido knot. Yeah, that's a great smelling soap. It, uh, cream. It actually smells kind of like a classic uh, cologne. Classic aftershave from back in the day. It's got that vibe to it. Uh, I really like it. So, um, got a special blade today for uh, Sig Solo, one of my new subscribers. Uh, he has not yet seen this blade. And instead of uh, instead of making him go through all the back catalog to find it, I figured I'd bring it out today. A lot of you guys know what is about to happen here in the Red Island Shave Den. And uh, Sig, you might be a little bit surprised. Um, probably one of my favorite razors in the den. You, you keep talking about swords. This is more along the lines of a, uh, of a meat cleaver. Anyway, we're going to get into this. I got the lather ready to go. I got the razor ready to go. I got music ready to go. So as always, put some headphones in if you do desire. Uh, the way this is mixed and mastered, you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck. And, uh, and that's it. So enjoy the tune. We'll lather up. We'll start shaving. We'll come back to talk about uh, the Barbas and a couple other things I want to talk about. So uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Enjoy. Oh, song's called Snowfall. I actually kind of wrote this when it was uh, storming out. So hence Snowfall. I know. Original is all get out, right? All right. Rock on. <laughs>
So, all right, hopefully you enjoyed that. And if I did my uh, job right, this all lines up. So yes, uh, the Beast is back in action. Sig, if you're wondering, this is an 11 eighths quarter hollow. Yeah, big old, well, Beast. So I mean, call it the Beast. Trying to get around the, uh, the scales can be difficult there sometimes. I don't think I cut myself earlier. That passed right underneath the, right underneath the goatee areas. <laughs> A bit difficult with this big old thing. But anyway, so far the Barbus is doing quite well. Actually, really do enjoy the scent on it. It's nice and slick. What more can you want? So, right, um, the topic of discussion for today. So, a lot of you uh, that follow me on social media in the Facebook groups and such would have seen my post yesterday about my uh, my lovely uh, do-it-yourself at home barbershop hot towel shave. Uh, something I do every Sunday. And I'm just wondering, uh, for next week... Is that something you guys might be interested in seeing a video on where, you know, for, for Monday, I will do a, uh, I will do my barbershop hot, sh hot towel shave. So, uh, so let me know in the comments. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing. And then I can film it uh, next Sunday. So the premise for uh, for those that don't, that aren't on Facebook or in the groups, what I do on Sundays is I do a, uh, I do a hot towel shave. Uh, here at home, and I try and replicate it, you know, the same idea as what you would get at a barber shop. And, uh, so yeah, I use hot towels, use a pre-shave, which is something I don't usually do. It's just a little bit of extra pampering on Sunday. Uh, use a barber shop scent. Uh, when I'm doing it here home alone, if I'm not on camera, I have some barbershop music playing, or, or not barbershop music per se, but music kind of from that time period, so like uh, 20s and 30s, 50s, you know, swing, jazz, that kind of thing. Um, and uh, if you go to my channel here, so if you just, uh, you know, on this video, just click on my channel name. You can see my playlists. I have all my playlists set as public. So you'll see uh, a playlist. If you scroll down, it says Shaving Tunes. So I have two two block, two videos there. Um, there's about three hours of music, if any of you are interested, saving them to your own playlist. And then you can have some shaving tunes. Put yourself in the mood. You know, kind of that old-timey barbershop feel. So I thought that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if you want to uh, add those to your own playlist, feel free. Just be warned, there is ads in the videos. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. It's kind of a pain in the ass when you're in the mood and then, you know, you're, you're getting your shave on, having a good time, and you hear this ad for something stupid. But I don't have YouTube Premium, so... Well, what can you do?
I'm always surprised at how well this big behemoth shaves. <laughs> a lot of steel to get moving. But great razor, I love it. Oh yeah, and I use uh, I use shavettes for the Sunday barbershop shave. Cause let's be honest, if you go to uh, I just missed a spot there, but that's okay. Okay, with the cleanup, um, if you go to a barbershop nowadays for a hot towel shave, it's gonna be a shavette. They're not gonna be using a real straight razor, so I figured why not make it somewhat authentic to the. Uh, to the barbershop experience. And then I make my lather in my scuttle, so I have like a super hot lather and, and uh, yeah. So anyway, if you're interested in seeing that, um, just let me know in the comments below and I can certainly oblige and I can do the video. Um, it shouldn't be too much longer than usual. It's not that much extra steps and uh, maybe I'll give you guys some uh, incentive to uh, try it on your own. So I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna do my cleanups and we'll come back with the post. See you in a few minutes. All right, we are all cleaned up, got the gear cleaned up. The beast has been uh, put back in her cage until we uh, release her for her next feeding. And uh, got the cold water rinse. And you know, I gotta say that was a really, really, really nice shave. And the post shave feel is actually really nice. Um, considering sometimes creams do tend to dry up my skin a little bit, that is not the case with the Burbis. So very happy. A little bit of residual scent, not too much though, and um, I think based on the, the clean, kind of greenish, citrusy vibe I'm getting for that, we're going to go with uh, Brute, because why not? Any excuse to use the Brute, so we'll give her a shake to wake up the juice. Yeah, they're going to play nice together, I can tell you that already. Splash that all over the place, this stuff's cheap. Don't skimp on it. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, I love the smell of brute. Oh, brute and Old Spice, man, I'm just telling you. Yeah, that was a good shave. Good shave indeed. Didn't go for BBS today, I went for a DFS. Why not? I'm gonna be shaving tomorrow. I didn't want to chase it today, so. And uh, that is good enough for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I know I had fun doing it. So once again, please uh, comment below if you'd like to see the, the full hot towel shave treatment. Uh, so that'd be a week from today, next Monday. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So um, thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, if you're new to the channel and uh, you're not subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And, uh, and that's it. So until next time, be safe, be kind to one another. Most importantly, have a great day and even better shave. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love you.